So today I'm going to bring you a video that concerns two different parts. Um, not that long ago I filmed a video on modeling and about how to tell if an agency is reputable and a lot of people commented having questions about can you tell me if this agency is reputable? Is this agent for talent or for modeling? Um, and I understand that there's still a lot of confusion out there and rightfully so because you know, the information that's out there, there isn't a lot of, a lot of people don't know where to start. Even if you're not thinking of modeling, this could still be beneficial to you because it goes to other areas of life as well, how to tell if any business is legitimate and what to look for. And I'm also going to talk about the boot camp that I was going to sign up for, which is Explore Modeling. Um, I spoke about it briefly in that first video and I didn't realize that it ended so soon. Um, the boot camp itself doesn't end, but I guess the registration period ends. And I know that a lot of people were still confused about it and how it worked, so I just wanted to give you that information. So this is basically an informational video. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the bottom tab. Every single agency and every single boot camp that I talk about will be listed below, so you can definitely go check them out and see exactly what I'm talking about through the video. What's good, what's bad, everything that I talk about will be linked right down there. But the Model Now Boot Camp is actually different than other boot camps. When you think of modeling boot camps, lots of times they can be scams. Not always, but many times. Many boot camps or training things like that, such as Barbizon or John Casablanca, do not necessarily get you what you need. They will give you information, they might show you how to pose, um, they might tell you how the industry works, but they don't really set you up for success. And that's kind of where some of the scamming comes in. There are modeling agencies that are outright scams, semi-scams, and then good agency. Now the Model Now Bootcamp is very different. The Model Now Bootcamp is a bootcamp that is six weeks, it is online. Um, here's the other thing is that I told you that they might have locations in New Jersey. I was completely wrong about that. It is all done online, so no matter where you are in the world, you can view it, but they don't actually, you don't go in anywhere. But you do go online and learn this information for six weeks. And what is different about the Model Now Bootcamp is that it is more than a bootcamp. It doesn't just teach you how to pose, um, but it teaches you the ins and outs of the industry and you actually get reviewed by top agencies in New York or LA. So by the end of the bootcamp, you will actually get critique and feedback from industry professionals that have done the covers of magazines and everything like that and actually tell you, this is what you're great at, this is what you need to work on. And you're going to get that throughout the entire course, or so it says. Um, I have like a little note card here that says everything that they do because a lot of people had questions about it. But um, it says here that you will get agency feedback um, from those top agencies. Um, so it is online. It is hosted by Christina D. Hart. You know that I have personally used Explore Modeling. I have personally been booked gigs by Explore Modeling. I know they just finished Miami Fashion Week and they're working on some other castings as well. Um, Christina Dehart has done the cover of Forbes magazine, she's done Target, Elf Cosmetics. Um, she's a real industry professional and whether it's Explore Modeling or whether it's another agency, you really should look to make sure that the people who are hosting it and doing it are professional. You don't want someone to just give you advice and be like, oh I took photos once, you know, that one time and look at me. Oh. You want someone who's actually going to say, look, I've been in the industry, I've been on a magazine cover, I've done this editorial, I've done this spread, I can actually give you real information. Um, and whether it's Explore Modeling or another website or another agency or another, you know, boot camp or talent director, you want to make sure that they have that for you. Otherwise, you will be wasting your money if you're trying to go to a boot camp or something like that. And I personally have worked with her. I personally would recommend it. I'm going to be signing up. I know a bit, but you can always learn more. Um, and I will read you quickly what it says because a lot of people had questions about it because many boot camps are scams. So I'm just going to read you exactly what it says. And the other thing is that there is a money back guarantee, which is nice, because a lot of people, once they take your money, they're done. Um, I don't know the details of the money back guarantee because that's not my thing, but um, it does look like there is security there. So it says here that you will build a solid portfolio from scratch and learn how to brand yourself as a successful model. You will earn the art of posing, which almost every single agency or boot camp shows you, but you wanna make sure that you're learning posing from someone good because if you just go to anyone and learn posing, they'll be like, put your hands in your hips. You know, but that's not exactly helpful. Even though it's a pose, it's not a good pose. This will actually teach you how to pose for your body, which is something you need from any agency or any boot camp. Um, how to get signed by a modeling agency or agencies. That's the other thing is that many um, modeling camps will teach you how to pose and how to walk and understand the industry, but they won't give you the tools and say, here, 
This is who you can talk to or hear. Here's a top model agency from New York who has signed supermodels for Victoria's Secret and they're giving you advice. You wanna make sure that you have an agency or a boot camp that will set you up with things like that instead of just kind of throwing you out there to go search on your own. Um, you will be building a contact list and, and securing consistent clients. You will find your own modeling jobs. You will learn beauty, nutrition, and self-esteem, which is very important. Um, you will learn the business of modeling, professionalism, and etiquette. You will get advice and personal feedback from the LA slash New York agencies. You will hear professional experts from professional models, from working professional models, and, and it says more. Um, and I've also worked, two of the guest speakers are a hair and makeup artist and a photographer that I've personally worked with and I personally love them. We all got chocolate together. I personally love them. Um, and one of their quotes, which I completely agree with, is I have worked with a lot of models who take great photos, but they aren't doing very well in their careers because they don't know where they are going in the industry. Getting the right information is very important. And the reason that I think that quote is important is because it is so true. Even if you have the right tools that a boot camp can give you, if you don't have the right way to place them and the right way to market yourself, you're never going to get out there. So with Explore Modeling or any agency, you need to look for that if you're going if you're trying to actually get serious. Um, so also, I didn't know this, so it is only online, but it is for six weeks, um, and it is $97. I don't know when the price goes up, but it says it goes to $197. So I'm obviously getting mine when it's $97. I don't know when the price goes up, but I know that it ends on July 29th. Now that's when registration ends, and then the actual classes start for the next you know, six weeks. So I just wanted to put that out there because people did have questions about it. Next I'm going to talk about the agencies. I have a whole list of agencies and casting directors that you guys put here. Um, I don't know all of them, but I will kind of read you the ones that I was given and kind of give you some information about them. Um, there's a lot here that I know of personally and some that I don't. Now, personally, you have to do your own research. You have to take all of this with a grain of salt. This is my personal opinion. and. You know, this is from my experience. And also, what's right for me might not be right for you. Maybe you don't want to get into modeling, you want to get into talent or acting or commercials. Maybe you want to get into high fashion or runway modeling, or maybe you want to get into petite modeling. That is different. So this is definitely my opinion, and obviously I'm giving you the best advice that I can, what I think is correct, but always, 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 always do your own research, and that's with everyone else. Don't just accept everything that everyone has to say. Do your own research and look into it and make sure that you feel secure. Some of the best ways to look into it are making sure that they have a legitimate email address, everything that we talked about in that first modeling video. So the first one that people had questions about was Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem is not an agency. Model Mayhem will not get you booked work. Now, Model Mayhem is different because Explore Modeling, the way it, the module works is that Explore Modeling is like an agency. You sign up, you are with the agency or with Explore Modeling, and they put you with direct jobs. They say, here's a casting, here's a job, and they get you work. Model Mayhem is different. They don't get you those direct jobs. They get you connected to people. So you will get connected to someone who does makeup, someone who does photo retouching, someone who is a photographer. You're not talking with agencies directly. I don't even know if, um, I don't even know if Model Mayhem does agencies um, or castings. But you will talk directly to a photographer or directly to a to people. And that's a good thing and that's a bad thing. It's a good thing because if that's what you're looking for and you want to get creative, then that's great. But the bad thing is that if you're really trying to get serious about your career, it doesn't give you all the tools that you need. And also, not everyone on there is super professional. Some people are there trying to become professional models and some people are just trying to have fun and be creative. So that's just my personal opinion. It's not a scam. It's just you need to be in the right niche and it needs to be what you're looking for in order for it to work for you. Um, the next thing is Barbizon. Barbizon is basically a model boot camp kind of thing. And what's different about it is that they do give you classes. You do have to go into a location. Um, I have a friend who does it. It is very, very expensive. She likes it so far. But the thing is that they do not get you actual gigs. At least they don't get most people gigs. Um, they will get you in pageants and you will do competitions and you will learn a lot. 
but it's very rare that you will actually book a major commercial or book a major, oh, excuse me, that was a burp book a major gig from them. Um, they give you the tools and then they send you off on your own and you have to go find your own work. Um, which is nice about Explore Modeling is that they hold your hand through it and other agencies will hold your hand through it. So personally, I would not pay for Barbizon. I have a friend who's doing it. She loves it and she is paying for it. So it's all depending on what's right for y'all. Um, next is Marla Del Talent. I'm personally not familiar with them, but I took a look at their website. They seem completely professional. Um, if I was giving advice to a starting off model, I would say I would personally trust them because they don't look like they ask for money up front. Um, John Casablanca is a modeling agency. I know that there's one in San Jose. Um, it's a talent and modeling agency. Uh, it's basically like a Barbizon. Kind of the same rules apply. Um, there is some professionalism. You will learn a lot, but they don't hold your hand and get you booked work, at least from what I've seen. I have only been to one class there. I did not pursue it. I have a friend who went for a long time. I also know that it's very expensive. Personally, I didn't continue because I wanted to spend my money in better ways. You know, I, I wasn't going to pay for that, but um, for the right person, it will be right for you. So look into that. Um, I would say it's definitely more for patents than commercials, but again, it's not going to book you work. It's just going to give you information that you could technically get other places for less. So I'm just kind of putting that out there as how I look at it. Um, look Agency, Scout Agency, and City Models are all professional. I, I was actually scouted by Look Agency. I decided not to go with them. I decided to go with Ford. Look Agency is completely professional. They did ask me to pay to take my own photos though because that was a time that I had nothing in my portfolio. They wanted me to pay money to start off my professional, professional portfolio. And that's why I ended up going with Ford is because they were willing to put that together for me whereas Look wanted to charge me. So even though Look wasn't charging me to be a part of their agency, it's very different. They said you can be with our agency for free and we just get commission from your work but we want you to pay for these initial photos, which is why I didn't go with them. Um, Scout is definitely legit. Look is legit. City model management is legit. And then there's none that were asked questions about this, but JE Models is a runway company that I've worked with. They're completely legit. And Stars in San Francisco is also very, very professional. And they do commercial and voiceover and modeling and things like that. And same with LA Models, New York Models. Um, Elite Models, Next Models, IMG, those are all very professional. And those are more runway, so they are high fashion and very hard to get into. Um, but it all depends on your niche. If you're going for runway modeling, if you're going for commercial modeling, if you're going for plus size kids modeling, it all depends. And that's how you're going to choose your agency is by what kind of modeling you're trying to get into. Um, the next one was John Robert Powers. And I looked at this and I mean, this is just my opinion, take it or leave it, do your own research, but I would not touch that with a 10-foot pole. Um, it doesn't look very professional. Uh, the person who commented said that they were asking for money. I would definitely not trust that. I would not touch it with a 10-foot pole. Wild Models. Um, I was actually scouted by Wild Models. I don't know if it's the same one. Someone asked a question about Wild Models uh, like online. They do not look super professional. I was scouted by a wild models. I don't know if it's the same one, but it was sketchy. We literally, they said, we have a casting call, come here. It was in a lobby of a hotel. And I would personally not recommend them if it's the same company. I don't know if it is or not. They say that they have locations in New York and Los Angeles. Um, I personally think there's a lot better out there. So do your own research, but that's what I think. Um, then there's also other ones, the Blackwell Files. Someone just asked me about this. I personally never heard of them. I didn't know really what they were like. Um, it looks like they want to charge you money. I honestly, they look semi-professional, but I don't know for sure. So please do your own research. Call them. Talk to them. Don't get sold by them. Just call for information because they're going to try to give you a sales spiel if they are scamishish, scamishish, scammy. So just be careful and look into that because I honestly couldn't tell. It looks semi-professional, but I don't know. Um, the Models Tour, that's another one. When I tried to look this up, it redirected me to a completely different website. And even though the website looks okay, I personally wouldn't touch this. I don't know if they're asking for money. And whether or not they're asking for money, it doesn't look like they've booked any big gigs. It doesn't look like they've booked commercials or magazine covers or anything like that. So I would say spend your time in another place. That is, you know, some of the ones that you guys asked me about. If you have any others, please leave them in the comments. And if you have had any experiences with any of these, please 
please comment and share your experience so that we can all help each other because the more experiences out there can help someone pick the right thing for them or help someone avoid a gigantic mess. So please tell me what you guys think. If there's anything else you want, anything else I can help you with, I would love to do that. Um, I love you very much and I cannot wait to talk to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye.